telling you, all it takes is a Canadian yeah. flag. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Well, it's funny you mention that because they actually tightened security the day after you guys did it. It was they kind of tightened it up a lot. They did. Well, they said they did, but we just wanted to be absolutely sure that it had been tightened. So, the very next day. We went to see if the cops had got any better at spotting a fake Canadian motorcade. Canadians. Sorry? We've got a Canadian flag. Turn around, leave the area, please. I can't believe it. What's wrong with this thing? I can't believe it. This doesn't look any more ridiculous than the other one. It's a big improvement. It was good, Much yeah, tighter, yeah. which is very reassuring. Well, not quite, Chris, because there was actually another security breach at APEC which left the police even more red-faced. Oh, look out. He's infiltrated again. The man's a mastermind. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you do need to be a mastermind to get past Apex security, Chris. If any of the cops had bothered to look at our passes, they should have seen they were clearly marked JOKE in capital letters. Uh, to be fair, though, I think on George Bush's security pass, he's also been marked in JOKE, so... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Look, well, I still reckon no other security guard would have fallen for those fake passes. Mm. Which brings us to our brand new segment... Some driver's license, please. We're getting everywhere with this. This is access all areas. You can get into the red zone with this. It doesn't matter, sir. We're from Canada. I would have to see some driver's license, some form of identity. You're good. That's, no, no, you're great. Get your job at IPEC. Good work. They need people like you. Yeah. Right, so it's official. RSLs are harder to get into than AP. Absolutely. But uh, what I've loved about this whole thing has been the media response. Mm. Now, Talkback in particular has been running hot. Back-to-back -back callers saying they thought the stunt was dangerous, yeah. stupid, they reckon we should all be locked Jail. up in jail. Now, look, I agree, but I, I don't think those calls went far enough. So I rang up a station myself to give them a piece of my mind. Hello, Peter. Hello, John. The reason I rang was with uh, the chasers. The chasers, uh, yes. I think they should be actually thrown in jail. But for how long, do you reckon? Well, for 10 years. And, and I think it shouldn't just be them. It should be anyone who was involved with that production. They should just all go to jail. Right, so this is a way a very for strong the, message. Yeah, this is the way to make the others think about what it is they're involved in. Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, throw their boss in jail. How That's far do you want to go? I mean, do you want to go to the, the boss of the ABC, maybe? Absolutely. Throw the boss of the ABC in jail. Why not? Throw the whole board. Maybe make an example of someone that they actually care about. Like, say, like that Kerry O'Brien guy. I imagine he was involved somehow. If you yeah, throw him in jail, maybe those chaser guys wouldn't think they're so funny. Yeah, I think that would certainly clarify a few things. Hey? Yeah. You'd tell him, Shaz. You'd tell him. Yes, but it was one of those stories where everyone had an opinion. I mean, even the opposition leader, Kevin Rudd, weighed into it. Hu Zhu Xi先生, I represent the people of the people. 对您表示我们个人的欢迎，到我们澳大利亚来访问。I've got a funny feeling that if he becomes our next prime minister, he'll probably redesign Parliament House to look a bit like this. <laughs> but look, look, guys, motorcades aside, I think it was actually quite a good APEC. It was quite a successful APEC, and, and of course, it climaxed on Saturday night with the official APEC fireworks, which incidentally, no one in Sydney was allowed to watch. Yeah, that's true. Everyone in Sydney was sold to stay at home, to avert their eyes, as the fireworks were only to be watched by APEC dignitaries. That's fair enough, but uh, Sydney siders hate missing out on a fireworks display, so we decided to put on a rival fireworks show, which the public could watch at the very same time as the APEC one. So here it was, last Saturday night. There's the official APEC fireworks over Sydney Harbour. Three, two, one. Then Hanson and I put on a bit of a show of our own. <laughs> and then just a little bit of a sign we lit up to send a message to APEC. Nice. 